Hi, I'm Mrs. Young, and today I'm going to show you how to split screens on your iPad. This comes in handy when you're on a Zoom with your teacher and they want to play a Kahoot with you, or maybe you need to research something on Safari because they've asked you a question, or maybe you need to open up um, an everyday math app. You can do all of this while working with your teacher on Zoom. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Kahoot today. So I pull up my iPad, so this is going to be like your iPad. You can see I'm in Zoom, so I'll click out so you can see that. Click my Zoom button. We're in Zoom. And the teacher has pulled up a Kahoot and said, let's play Kahoot. So now what you need to do is split your screen. So if you go down at the bottom and just lightly touch, you're going to get your Finder down at the bottom. Now because I used Kahoot recently, Kahoot is in my Finder. But maybe you haven't used it recently and you go, uh-oh, it's not in my Finder, what do I do? Very simple. Click out, okay, and then you're going to find your app Kahoot, you're going to hold it down, and you're going to slide it, put it down here on your finder, okay? That's all you need to do to get Kahoot down on your finder. And then you open Zoom back up, and then you're just going to scroll up again, you're going to click on Kahoot, and you're going to hold it down, and then you're going to drag it up onto the screen. So I push, and I drag it up onto my screen. And there you go, I can see I now have Kahoot running while I'm also on the Zoom with my teacher. So I'm going to enter in my game pin. And I'll show you why this is important here in just a minute. Okay, and I'm ready to play. I'm, it's a name generator, so it's just going to pick a name for me. Excellent. And then when my teacher's ready, she's going to hit start, and the first question is going to pop up. Now sometimes, because this is on the screen, it's hard to see the question. There's a little toggle up here at the top. If you kind of lightly push that, you can see slide it all around so that way you can read the question. And the question says, which instrument represents the clock playing at the beginning? It's always helpful when your teacher reads that too. And then you answer. And then when everybody's done, it'll pop up with whether you're correct or not. So that's how you can split screen to play Kahoot. If you're done with Kahoot, you said, okay, we're done playing Kahoot now. And my teacher wants me to look something up on Safari. I slide this over, I scroll up, whoops, I got too excited and pushed the buttons. So that happens sometimes. I see I have Safari right there, click on it, oops, didn't like me this time. I pop it up and it comes off to the side. And then I can go up here and type in where I need to go. And then I've got Safari loaded while I'm also working with my teacher on something. And you can also slide those off this direction too. Well, it actually doesn't like me today, so we'll go that way. Now, the other way this could work is let's say you have like an everyday math app. Okay, I don't have that on my finder. I want to put it on my finder. So I grab it and I add it to my finder, which it didn't like me. Add it to my finder. There we go. Then I click back on Zoom and I scroll up, I click on Everyday Math, I slide it up here, and now it takes me to the Everyday Math page. Okay, so that's, and it would make me log on, it probably make you log on too. So that's how you can pull that up so that you have an app within an app running at the same time. 